stand there and flinch your butt cheeks like this. Sugar baby, sugar baby, nice whip, nice crib, nice crib. I want this, I want I that, want he that. give it to me. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. I just woke up not too long ago. It is Tuesday. It's about like one o'clock. I woke up around like 10, but I've just been kind of like bumming around the house a little bit. Today I am going to be finishing up some of my orders. I wanna take my dogs to the park and I wanna go grocery shopping. I'm also going to be looking for an assistant. I'll be looking for my Sugar Baby Spa facility, the area that I'm gonna have my spa at. I'm looking for an assistant mainly because I'm going to need it with my business and I'm about to get back in the music game. So I'm gonna need an assistant with that as well. Some of you don't know, some of you may know, I do sing and I do rap. No, I don't say that like, I'm not good. I'm the shit, like I go hard as fuck. I can sing my ass off and I can flow so well. I've been through a lot in life, so my lyrics are just amazing. I don't write, I freestyle. And if you haven't checked my music out, if you haven't heard me sing, definitely you're missing out, go check that out. In my videos, I have a lot of you know work and stuff like that. My Sugar Baby music video, the link will be in the description. I'm going to be applying a lot of pressure with that. I already have songs done, I just need to do videos for them. And I also have something to talk to y'all about. So basically, I wanna talk to y'all about me no longer being a Sugar Baby anymore. As a lot of y'all know, I've been retired since I got that $40,000 about eight months ago. And it's going to, I'm gonna be going on a year in May. To go ahead and let y'all know that I am no longer dropping any more day in the life of a sugar baby vlogs because I am not a sugar baby. And it would basically be like clickbait because you know I'm not even active in the lifestyle. So from now on, I will only be doing day of an entrepreneur day in the life of an entrepreneur because that's what I really am. And I always told myself when I was in the game that I was going to retire around the age of 25 to 26. And thankfully, after all the good deeds, all of the game I've given out, all of the bitches I've put on all the times that I've stayed down for myself, it has finally paid off. I'm really excited about it this year and to see what this year has to bring my first year out the game. I'm excited for my new entrepreneur journey and I'm excited to bring y'all on this journey with me. I'm gonna go ahead and get my day started, so let's go. I could just eat and work out and it will right now but i never ever thought about getting my ass done until instagram came along so like why well, i gotta feel like i gotta get my ass done now i'm not gonna make these bitches make me feel like something wrong with myself i was talking to myself in the mirror but i'm glad i caught it because everything i said is so true like i have never in my life ever had anybody tell me something's wrong with my body so i'm not gonna start looking in the mirror you know how much money i have made off my body that's why y'all know me, cause my I'm face card and body card amazing, and niggas used to love to pay me. So I I ain't never in my ever life ever felt like something was wrong with my body. So I for sure ain't finna just cause I decided to get away for a BBL. Now I gotta you know get back in shape. I for sure ain't finna let no no broke bitches make me feel bad about my body, honey. I got my boobs done because I literally could not. I can't grow boobs my butt i can grow my butt i can grow my butt i can get it right you feel me i look great like i'm not feeling let nobody make me feel bad about myself period because one thing is for sure i look better than anybody that's ever talked about me i look better than you in real life second of all i make more money than you in real life third of all I will take your man in real life. And fourth of all, I will beat your ass in real life. So always remember, if you got anything to say about me, remember them four things. I'm about to put some of my lightning agent on my face. It's from my Punani box. Even though you can barely see it, I can see it. And so I just like to keep treating it every day that way I can get it as light as possible. Cause it's just a tip of it left that I want to get better. Honestly, I'm just gonna throw on my Chanel 
black jumpsuit, some black shoes, and just keep it pushing. chair i know i'm not the only person that has a chair in their room and just throws all their clothes on it <laughs> i need to quit doing that i'm positive i didn't even lose it it's probably just like laying around here somewhere and i just can't see it but thankfully i get my earrings from the beauty supply store that's one thing i don't have i don't have real gold earrings I have gold rings, my watch, my necklaces. My dude said he was gonna buy me some diamond earrings. So I'm just being a good girl. I'm waiting for him to bring me my diamonds, honey, because you know, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Put my eye watch on. I love having my eye watch. My dude got this for me too. He got this for me like three years ago and I finally got a wristband and all that stuff for him. Go ahead and put on my deodorant. I absolutely love, love deodorant. I love all the smells that they have, except for a few of them. Now I'm gonna spray some of my Chanel. And on my face, I'm gonna spray some Mariah Carey. A little bit on my face, like right here. Like that. And then dab it. Put on some lip gloss with my Sugar Baby Kisses lip gloss. Some lip gloss on, honey. My Sugar Baby Kisses lip glosses will be relaunching this month. I'm going to be doing, I'm not even going to tell y'all what I'm going to do. I'm just going to show y'all. So take a look out. You know, my tubes are cute. This is just one of the tubes. I actually have two other ones. I just don't have them with me right now. But yeah, keep a look out for that. And as you can see, this is why I wrap my hair at night. If I didn't wrap my hair at night, it would not be this easy to do. I need to order some heat protectant today. Now I'm gonna put some lotion on my feet and put some socks on. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna show y'all in a minute, I do these three times a day, I'm gonna show y'all, but first I'm gonna put some lotion on my feet, honey. I know y'all can probably barely see me because of the light behind me, but I just want to show y'all real quick how I use my resistance bands from my She Ruby Fitness Kit, which is on my website. It comes with five of these resistance bands here. And so basically what I do, I'm building my butt muscles right now. And so I'm going to put these right here around my legs like this. And of course, you can only do so many if you're new. So do as many as you can. If you can only do five, start off with five. Do five on this side, five on this side, and do that for about a whole week. And then move it up a notch. Go up to 10, being able to do 10 on one side, 10 on the other, and then just keep going up and up. Right now, I'm at 15. So I can do 15 on this side and 15 on this side without getting tired. Like, trick your muscles, and that's how your muscles build. The more pain you feel, the more your muscles will be building. So I'm gonna go ahead and do mine real quick. Fifteen and fifteen. And then here in a couple more hours, I'm gonna drop and give myself fifteen more. Super easy to do. You can do it throughout the day and you'll get your body right. I'm gonna go ahead and unload my dish dishwasher. I need to put these dishes in there. In this bottle, I have bleach and water. That's all I like to clean up with is bleach and water. It smells good and I know that it's, it's doing its job. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make my detox tea. 
my detox tea was already sitting. I already have it all ready to go. All I have to do now is just add some more water. Add some more water and then strain it. This is a strainer that I have in my fitness kit. It came with a limited variety of my fitness kits. So basically what you just seen, these are the herbs that go inside my detox tea. You have burdock root, caraway seeds, herb root. I'm gonna list all the ingredients that my detox tea has down right here below. I had tea strainers that came with my detox teas, but of course I sell, sold out of them. So basically what you saw me do was I put the herbs in my water and I let the water sit overnight. That way the water can absorb all of the herbs. It sat in there and then all you saw me do was strain the water from the herbs. I have just my detox tea here. The only reason why I have it in this big bottle right here is because I'm about to go. So um, yeah, you could, you could put as much water in it as you want. I could add more water to this if I want to, but I just want a quick shot of my detox tea and so I can get on the road. <laughs> and it tastes amazing. All done. Let's get on this road, honey, because I'm hungry. I gotta turn on the TV. I, like I told y'all um, in the last video, I had all my stuff plugged up to one extension cord. Same thing has with, same thing for all of this stuff right here. All of this is plugged up to one extension cord. So when I'm not using it, I click the button. All of this is off. What people don't know is when your stuff is plugged up, it's still using electricity. I don't care how rich I am. My grandparents always taught me to save, save, save your electricity, and that's just how I am. It's natural. I turn lights for just off when I leave rooms. I'm the type of person, like, if I was to come over to your house and you left a light on, I'm going to turn the switch off. <laughs> so, I turn this on. See, everything is back on now. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my babies. I'm going to put on forensic files <laughs> for them. <laughs> oh, forensic files. <laughs> Ever just stand there and flinch your butt cheeks like this? Don't be too late. Patience. to get me something to eat. I'm hungry, y'all. Ting. But you know, I told y'all I'm a pothead. And I didn't even realize that I had on one earring. My earring must be in the house somewhere. Like, they're always falling out. At this point, it's completely annoying. That's why I'm always losing my earrings, because they just come out. And it's like, what the heck? I can't wait till my baby buys me some diamond earrings. I promise I'll never lose those. I don't lose my real jewelry. I'm trying to get this heat on. It is cold, honey. And I'm just so excited for my new life. You know what I mean? Like I'm not a sugar baby anymore. I'm out here a whole entrepreneur. I'm happy I'm getting this money still. Like the money has not changed. Like I always felt like I had to be in the game or whatever and like I don't. And it's just like cool transitioning into a woman, into an entrepreneur, a wife, a mother, a friend. You know, like all that stuff is just, it's really, it's giving me a lot of life, honey. So I'm really excited about it. But. 
I'm gonna smoke a little bit so I get my appetite up and then I'm gonna go and get me some food from Flying Fish. I want a vegetable plate with some oysters. y'all so this is what i'm eating looks so good right and i'm not even going to sit here and vlog with y'all i don't usually have my dog's food right there i usually have it outside but it's cold right now so i have it in here but anyways honey i'm not even gonna sit here and vlog i'm about to enjoy my food for a second and then i gotta go outside and get the stuff out the car and get ready to get these orders ready child and in case you're wondering, I got this on. I have my little waist trainer underneath. Waist trainer underneath. So that's why it looks like that. Because of this here. But if you want to know what my body looks like, definitely go check out my Instagram page, honey. Because my body is popping. Especially without these clothes on. Don't play with me, honey. You know... Don't play with me. Hmm. I'm about to eat. So I'm gonna show y'all what I do with my scooter. I know some, you know, people had something to say and thought it was a joke or, you know, something like that, but it actually came in handy. You know, whenever you get a lot of money, sometimes you don't know what to do with your money and you just sometimes buy toys. And this is one of my little toys that I bought because since I, I live at an apartment building, my apartments are, they ha the hallways are long. Everything is just long here. And I'm always having to walk a lot. And you know, yes, I don't mind walking, of course. But when my foot was broken, this came in handy. And then just when I get groceries and stuff, I figured it would come in handy as well. So yeah, I'm about to go get my groceries out of the car. Tree. I honestly went, I had got some of the pans I was telling y'all about, but then I just, every time I go to the Dollar Tree, I always end up buying just a whole bunch of stuff. I got these here because my second restroom is where I make all of my products at. That is my laboratory and then my inventory closet. I'll get, if you haven't seen my inventory closet and my laboratory in my office, you can check out my office tour. I have and I'll put the link down here. I bought these so I can organize my products. I spent only $45. And then I got some of the tins I was telling y'all about to make my to make my scrubs in here and my clay masks and stuff like that in here. A strainer. I needed a strainer. I seen one of these gloves. And my theme for my kitchen is wine. I have wine glass, tabletop. Um, well, I have wine glass placemats and a wine glass towel. So I just wanted to get a wine glass glove. And I got some smell goods for my restroom. I got two of these to put in my restrooms. And then I got some snacks. I got some chocolate. Ho hos, some vanilla ho hos, some Cheez Its, some toaster, blueberry toasters for the morning. I got Skittles. 
these caramel candies that I love so much. Dental floss. I like the dental floss that's on the sticks. You know, I have veneers and veneers are just like a grill. So, you know, I have to keep my grill clean. My Mike and Ike candies. Jolly Ranchers. More Jolly Ranchers. Some more toaster strudel, um, toaster pop-up, what are they called? Toaster strudels. I got one of these pens for my phone. I really like these pens because I just hate using my finger all the time. Ice cream. I got the orange sherbet ice cream and the cookies and cream ice cream. Some chips. I got cheddar lays chips and some sour cream chips. Cranberry juice. The reason why I got these pictures is because for my skincare, I need something to store them in. That way I can put them. I'm going to buy a mini fridge for my work area. That way when I make, I already have one for my facial cleanser. My cleanser is in the, it's, I like to keep them preserved. So I went ahead and got one for my moisturizer, my astringent, and then my toner. That way, because I don't have a few orders a week anymore. And nowadays, I'm making a whole bunch of it. So I wanted something to store them in. That way, I could have them in the refrigerator. And that way, they'll be preserved. Then I got two of these. I thought they were so cute. I want to put some candies in them. That way, I could have them out for, like, my friends and stuff. Cookies. Some more smell good. I have one of these things. So I, I they smell really good. So I went ahead and just bought one for... Some Dollar Tree for it. Pop it. Oh wait, it doesn't have any batteries. What happened to the batteries? I took the batteries out. I know I got batteries though, for sure. That's one thing about me is I just, I keep batteries, honey. And then I got Cairo a new toy. I was like, what? It's see, look there it goes. It's a ball with um. Look, Papa, you like your new toy? Look, look, go get it. You can't go wrong getting some deodorant. I see some deodorant. I just grabbed me some deodorant, girl. And then I grabbed Cairo some more balls. Cairo, Camila, and Omara. I grabbed them some balls. Oh, I thought she wanted you. Get it, Mama. She got it, good girl, good girl, good girl. What's up, girl? Ready? Get it, girl. 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 <laughs> I'm about to organize one of my cabinets real quick. I'm about to get this ball. Go over here. Organize this. So this is how it looks now. It was a lot messier earlier. Well, not messier, but you know, not organized like it is now. So, there we go. Now it's more organized. First off, what I'm going to do with my orders is go through and see which one of them is a skincare product because I'm going to make my products fresh. And so I need to see how many I have. That way I make the right amount of product. So, I'm going to go ahead and go through and do what I do best, you know, just mark some things down. So now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to double check. I'm going to double check and make sure that I have the right amount of everything that I wrote down on my list here. So it says that I need six scrubs, so I'm going to make sure that I need exactly six scrubs. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. I need eight scrubs, not six. You see, that's why you double check. I don't even understand how I got that wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got eight scrubs. I'm gonna check it, that way that shows me that I did go back and I double check. My light bright agents, so I'm gonna, it says I needed seven, so I'm gonna double check and make sure I need seven. Check. Who did any box samples? It's, I put 15, let me double check. 14, 15, that's checked. Who did any machines? Nine. Nine. Should we kiss oils? Thirteen. In pieces sixteen, should we be fitness kits? I put four, but I actually need five of them. Detox teas. One clean ounce. Sugar ensembles. I need one, two. One, two, three, and three jury ensembles. I need a tequila purse, one of them. y'all so this is what i did last night i went through and got down all of the products that i will need for my orders this week all of these are abbreviations that i understand so this is scrub i need eight scrubs i need seven of my light bright agents 15 of my punani punani samples nine punani machines and so on and so forth and the ones that are highlighted i have already got them out of my inventory closet and they are sitting over here i'm working so yes of course it's messy a little you know messy over there and the ones that are not highlighted are the ones that i still need so i know that those have been taken care of and i the check marks are beside them because that means that i double check the numbers and i know that this is how much that i need to fulfill my orders and this is an update on my list from yesterday as well. I have five of them checked off. They're already packaged up. I have those boxes there because they're going to be Poonani machines. But yeah, we're almost done. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.